Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we got a couple things to talk about on the southern front line. The first thing I want to talk about is the most recent thing that's happened. It's in this area by Novomayorsk to the east of Zavitne Bajanya and Staromlinivka. Ukraine had launched an offensive by the Velika Novosoka area for a while and liberated Neskuchne all the way down to Urozhaine. And then the progress here has slowed a little bit, mostly because of Russian fortifications and reserves filling up the area. Staromlinivka, which for some reason looks really small on this map, it used to not look like this. I don't know happened. Stromlinivka is the main supply hub for this whole group right here, and the Ukrainians were trying to target it. The Russians sacrificed men for time in Urozhaine and set up some fortifications north of Zavitne Bajanya, which have been uh, having Ukraine be stuck for a little bit. But it seems like Ukraine has been doing a new push in the direction of Novomayorsk. They've eliminated the gray zone and some of the minefields between the river and the uh, previous front line, and they've taken control of some of the houses in the north of the settlement. Novomayorsk is probably the weakest link in this whole area, since Pavlivka has been a big battleground in the past. The Russians have a lot of equipment here, but this area hasn't really been heavily fortified. The good thing about this is that a push through Novomayorsk would create a lot of problems for the Russian defense to the left of it. If the Ukrainians can get down the road by Kremenchik, that would put Novodonetsk and Kremenchik in risk of being flanked, so they'd probably have to retreat back to the river if a breakthrough right here did happen. Another good thing about this, this area is extremely sparsely fortificated. What the f***? Fortified. And there's only two small fortifications south of Kremenchik, which the Ukrainians will probably just flank anyway. The only problem with this is that Novomayorsk is sort of in the lowlands, and the Russians have about a 50 meter height advantage between these two points. A way to counteract this would be to continue down the low elevation region in the direction of Yevhenivka, which would flank some Russian positions on this hill, which would allow them to move in. Right now, the fights are currently going on, and crossing the river, the two, three rivers in this region are going to be a bit of a difficulty. But if it's possible for this area to be captured, the Ukrainians will be able to use it to very good effect. There's effectively no fortifications until they reach the main line of defense here. Even Novopetrivka, which is one of the main big settlements in this area, doesn't have any fortifications to the north of it that we know about. It seems like Ukraine waited to press in this direction. They started out by doing the big push by Robotine, which I'm going to talk about in a second. And then they also had the one in Velika Novosoka. Then they started one up by Bakhmut and Klishchivka. And the Russian reserves have gotten really spread out over the front, which has thinned them out a lot. And it seems like this push may be one of the most important, and the Ukrainians were waiting for the Russians to not have the numbers to deal with it. The next area I'll talk about really quick is the battle for the fortifications north of Novoprokopivka. This is according to the ISW map. I've seen some sources say that Ukraine has taken control of both of them or just one of them. But these are very powerful elevated fortifications, and the Ukrainians were able to exploit a rotation of Russian troops to take one of them on the left earlier. There's still a second half of it to the left, but that's going to become easier to take now that Ukraine has control of some of the trenches. They have partial control of some of the ones on the right as well, but are still working through here. The area where they've gained some ground is in the direction between Novo Prokopivka and Verbove, and this is important because it's getting them closer to the heights in this region. Being able to get onto this hill next to Novo Prokopivka would allow them to flank that and basically end the fight for the fortifications north of Novo Prokopivka. And then it would just be all up to if Ukraine can take the main defense line between Ilchenkova and Solodka Balka. And that's what I got for you guys today. Maybe we'll see something new come with this vector of attack, or maybe we won't. It could always be a distraction or a positional battle to draw even more Russian reserves out of the way for the true hit. Bro, what is going on? Why are, like, the settlements getting smaller? Bro, Google Maps is bugging. It must not know that I'm thugging. Alright, whatever. See you later. I'm, I'm done with this.